Hey everybody, my name is Shauna and welcome to my Shauna Moe channel. Today is Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Friday. <laughs> Today is Friday. You know what that means? Tuesdays and Fridays are my growing days and I have quite a few topics I want to talk about. There's so much that's happening in the world right now. I just want to share the exciting news and I have a little update on me getting into public speaking. Oh God. I'm not sure if I should do it. So the reason why I want to get into public speaking is because I have learning disabilities and not a lot of people have the same disabilities as me. Just because I look normal on the outside doesn't mean my brain is, doesn't mean I'm normal on the inside. And uh, yeah, my worker, my PSW, which stands for Personal Support Worker from the Community Living, told me that there are programs with the university and St. Clair College, that there are programs where students want to learn about disabilities and he thinks it would be a good idea for me to go to the, those classes and share my story. So uh, I don't know if I should do it because I, I just, I get so nervous talking in front of people. I remember school presentations were really bad and my PSW wants me to get into them and every time I talk about it with my dad or my friends or my, I think he's my cousin. <laughs> I have a big family so when I talk to my cousins about it, everybody says that I should do it. I, sh I should talk about fetal alcohol syndrome and auditory processing disorder, which is comprehension disorder. They all say that I should share my story. I should get into public speaking. So I think I will do it, but I'm scared, obviously. So I will give you guys an update on if I'm going to get into public speaking because I think I should do it. I want to try to encourage people with learning disabilities or any other disability to speak up and share this story because it's something I feel like I should do, but I'm scared. Uh, of course, you're going to be scared of something new. And if I want to share my story, if I want to get people to be aware of my learning disabilities, I have to do something about it instead of just staying silent. <sighs> so yeah, I'm scared, but I want to do it. All right, we got to get into the exciting news because there's already so much that's happening in the world right now. I just want to share some exciting news that I want to share. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is Futurama because Futurama is a show that most people know. It ran from 1999 to 2013 and it's a show that makes you laugh and cry. There are so many sad episodes and... Uh, I love that show. I love Futurama. It's, oh my god, there's so many things that I love about it. I love Bender, and Fry, and Leela, and The Professor. It's just such a good show, and apparently it's going to be rebooted with a new cast in 2023. Nobody wants Futurama if it's not going to be the original cast, and I agree with them. That's my opinion. I think Futurama should just kind of stay put. Although I was a little bit disappointed with the ending. I'm not gonna lie. I was disappointed with the ending of Futurama because I wanted uh, everything to go back to normal. I wanted the machine to be fixed and everybody moves again. But it was really cute how they grew old together and sad at the same time because in the end it was just the Professor Leela and Fry. So, spoilers! So, if you haven't seen Futurama, that's how it ends. And I'm just like, no! Why, why did it have to end like that? And I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm... If I want to watch the reboots. I'll, I'll see. Uh, if I sound congested, yeah, that's normal in the winter. I'm not sick. I, I'm just a little stuffy, okay? Moving on. <laughs> Uh, I hate being like this, but it's normal in the winter, and apparently in my city we're getting like 10 centimeters of snow. I don't know. They say something, and the weather changes all the time. 
The second topic is Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, the house band from The Muppets. Oh my god! Apparently they're going to have their own series on Disney+. Plus. It's a rumor, and apparently it's true. Oh my god! I don't know. I think Lips, who plays the trumpet, needs more attention. And apparently, apparently Steve Whitmire did not like playing Lips. I was so shocked. Someone said that in the comments on Facebook. I'm like, oh my god, oh my there's a lips fan page. There's obviously going to be other Muppet fan pages. And I don't know if it's true. Apparently it is. It's coming to Disney Plus. I have no idea when. I will keep you guys updated. Ah! I'm so excited. I love the Muppets. I don't care how old I am. You can love the Muppets, you can not like the Muppets. We all have our own likes and dislikes, okay? That's just the way it is. I love the Muppets, and if you don't, that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to hate you just because you don't like the same things as me. Vice versa. So I'm not going to hate anybody just because you have your own favorite TV shows or music. We're all, we're all different. Humans come in different shapes and sizes. I say this all the time. People are going to judge you no matter what you do in your life. And you just have to... Um, think at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how you feel about yourself. You don't have to care about what other people think because they're going to judge you. And I choose to love the Muppets and to be weird. And uh, yeah. Uh, the final topic is SeaWorld tries to buy Cedar Point. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny to me because they tried to buy Cedar Fair and I have several little articles SeaWorld says bid for Cedar Fair was rejected, and I was laughing. Cedar Point is never, ever going to be bought by anybody else. I trust Cedar Fair. I trust Cedar Point. Cedar Point is one of the only theme parks in the world that I trust with all my heart, despite some things that happened. No park, nothing is ever going to be 100% perfect. Oh my god. I hate being stuffy in the morning, but this is the only time that I can record this video because I don't think I'm going to be able to record tonight. I'm going to be a little bit busy. So yeah, it is actually around nine in the morning and th this video is not going to be uploaded until uh, four or five, sometime in the late afternoon, early evening. and. Uh, yeah, that's honestly it for today's video. Those are like the only three important topics I have. I will give you guys an update on me getting into public speaking where I can share my story and experience with uh, invisible learning disabilities. And uh, yeah, I'm special needs and I'm proud of it. This is who I am. And uh, yeah, my head is spinning. I have been awake since around five in the morning. I woke up around five and then I couldn't go back to sleep. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go. I will see you guys hopefully next time. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, comment down below, turn on the bell for notifications. My social, my social, my social media links are down in the description box below, along with anything that I forgot to say. And I apologize for messing up on my words. I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.